Hey, what's up everyone? Do I have a video for you? Now, as you see by the title and thumbnail, there is a way that you can complete literally all your milestones, all your daily challenges, all your weekly challenges, and even these pesky survivor medals right here, the ones that are hard. As you see, right, I am almost finished all my bonus goals or all my uh, week milestones. I've already completed all my weeklies and dailies, I've already completed as well, but they reset in 9 minutes, so I'll probably be on that after this video. <laughs> So, I'm going to teach you step by step on how you can get easy bot lobbies every time just by doing uh, basically a simple trick. Right, it's very easy, so this video won't be long because I won't need to describe much. But what you can, but what you have to do, right, is you have to add in a bot into your game. So I'm going to teach you all how to do that right now. So if you head into the link, this link right here, uh, I'll leave it in the video, uh, it's probably under me at the moment, and I'll leave it in the description and the pinned comment. But if you head over to this website right here, now this can be done on mobile, PC, uh, I'm not too sure about console, but that doesn't really matter, just as long as you can access this website, uh, just on any device, uh, that's all that matters. So if you type in status.baydev, uh, as I said, it'll be in the description and it'll be in a uh, linked comment as well. So you'll be brought to these all these nodes right here. There's a bunch of nodes. However, if you just go to like uh, node one, you'll see all of these bots right here. Uh, all of them have bot mm underscore then a number. And what you want to do is once you see one of these bots that you like, try to find one that has barely any friends or ones that have none online because these bots will be the most active. But what you want to do is you just want to click the friend request button and once you've done that, or sorry, once you've clicked the copy the clipboard, uh, head back into Fortnite and I'll see you all there when I get back in. Alright, we're back into Fortnite. So what you want to do now is if you click one of your friend buttons, right, uh, just go right here and just paste in bot mm underscore and whatever number you've got. And add it, it should instantly add you back, as you see right there, he instantly added me back. Uh, you want to invite him to the party and he should instantly join. And this is the bot that, that joined you. He'll put a message at the bottom left just telling you um, how long you've got to add dot uh, ready up and that. And you can tell it's a bot because his level, I'm still don't even know how he did that. I asked in their Discord server, but they ain't telling me. So fair enough on that. So once you've done that, uh, I'm going to quickly just go over the do. Uh, well, I just put this up into the right settings. I'm going to go through the do's and don'ts. So you can do this in build mode or zero build mode you can do this in duo trio and squads uh, make sure no fills on though because uh, fill doesn't work properly so what you can do is you can do your daily challenges your weekly challenges your milestones and the survivor quests and you can get victory royales however what you can't do is you can't use the bot in creative mode you can't use the bot in uh ranked and you cannot get crown wins for, with this character uh, every time you win the crown doesn't get included but if you already have a crown and you head into this bot lobby it won't be verified as you have a crown so if you die in this ranked mode uh not or in this bot mode you won't lose anything so you'll be fine on that so once you've set up uh, just a no build or a build mode and it's set to no fill ranks off uh, just make sure, I highly doubt anybody here has one, but just make sure you don't have a custom key in because it won't work. But once you're ready up, the bot should also ready up. There you are. And you'll be ready to hop into the game. Now, I'm going to go and just play some uh, footage of me and my friend uh, playing this. Uh, and it's just basically me and him doing some milestones. Um, I'm just going to quickly teach you on what I did for the milestones. Now the first one I'm going to be talking about are headshot opponents and damage opponents. I'm putting these into the same category just because you'll be doing both these at the same time basically. And it's not that hard, especially in a bot lobby as you see in the footage uh, while I'm talking here. Uh, all you need to do is just find a group of people and just start headshotting them with assault rifle, sniper, and you'll eventually get the damage opponent ones as well. For damage opponents you need to do 1500 damage. All you basically need to do is down 7 people and just finish them and that will count towards 200 damage. That's not including if they have shield. So I would advise playing this in no build mode if you're going for the damage opponents or headshot opponents. 
Now to destroy 200 objects, what I would advise you all to do is head over to Frenzy Fields and when you're at Frenzy Fields, grab one of the cars. Just make sure that the area is clear first because the bots can go and destroy your car while driving it. Now what you want to do once you picked up the car is just drive through all the fences because you can actually just destroy them as soon as you touch them. You need a little bit of speed but you'll be able to, you'll be able to destroy them all quite quickly. To all those players that were actually able to find a rocket ram, what I would do is head over to the main house of Frenzy Fields, just line up where I am right here, just in between the two walls and just boost. Just make sure that the gas can is just away because I almost died from that. If you haven't completed the challenge yet, just head over to where I am right now and just look at the angle that I'm aiming at. Once you've charged up your rocket ram, just head right through there and you should complete the challenge. If you haven't yet, just go and break the little things around Frenzy Fields and you should be able to do it easily. Now this one is quite odd and buggy because for some reason, sometimes going to one landmark equals two, three, or four, and then sometimes going to a landmark equals one or even none. But uh, I'm gonna show you the route that I take to get all five done. So what you wanna do is you wanna head to this bottom part right here. Going through this portal probably will bring you to another landmark. So that's two landmarks quickly right off the bat. After you've went to those two landmarks, what you wanna do is head over to this little island just right over here and just quickly, you don't need to go inside, just touch the island and it should count towards the objective. Now for some reason I was able to pick up two landmarks at once. As I was saying, this is very glitchy, this objective, so you might have already completed the challenge before going here or you might have to get one more. So what you want to do is just head onto the zip line right over here and grab the bike that's at the road here if it has spawned. If it hasn't, sadly you're going to have to run over to the gas station. But once you've hit that, that should be enough. If you need one more, just keep heading up and then you'll eventually find another one. I think Mega City counts the landmark for some reason. No idea why, it just does. Oh boy, my favourite challenge. The travel 5,000 metre distance one. Now, I don't really have a good way of doing this one. I just did what you see in the video here. I was just drifting around the ice, doing laps around uh, whatever this place is. And I had to like roughly like a good 30 laps for the 5,000 meters to be finally done. But other than that, I have no idea on what else you can do. If anybody else knows a faster way of doing this, you can leave in the comments. I did try to go through the rift portal every uh, every time and just dive straight down to get travel distance. But that wasn't really as effective as it was driving around. Maybe driving on the road is faster, but I just thought it was like more of a fun way just drifting around the ice and listening to whatever the radio was playing in the Fortnite. Now I could just go on and on with all these challenges, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to bore all of you, so I'm going to stop with this one. Uh, I'm just going to show this one just to show that you can't complete all these quests in one round. Uh, if you get these two, you're screwed basically. There's no way of doing this in one game. It's near impossible to survive 10 storm circles in a bot lobby just for the fact that when you hit the 7th storm circle, the bots usually lose track of their, their like pathing and then they end up running into the storm and they just die. And outlasting 200 players, that's just enough in itself. I mean, there's only 100 players in a battle royale, so yeah, that takes 30 games. So if you get any of these, sadly, you're not going to be able to do them in a game. But if you got any other challenges, then you can be that and then go on to the next challenge that it gives you. Uh, if you have any problems with any of these challenges or any I haven't described on how to do, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to you. And I'll try and give you as many tips on the way with that challenge. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, you can dislike it. Just message me in the comments on why you disliked it. I'm always looking for ways to improve myself. Uh, yeah, but for that being said, thanks for watching and goodbye.